And what President Obama's Secretary of Health, Secretary of Sebelius did, was take the requests from governors, mostly Republican, that they would come in with a demonstration program, flexibility to the states, federalism, that would increase the work participation rate for those receiving help under welfare. Increase it. Increase, not decrease. They have to or they lose their weight. And yet, the Republicans put an ad on television, they speak it, that President Obama weakened the work requirement for people receiving welfare. And I'll admit, Romney and I approve this ad message. So, they have no limits as to what they will say. We gotta overcome that. We got something else we have to overcome. And that's money. We are not Democrats. We are not competitive on money. I'm telling you, we're not competitive. President Obama will be outspent by Governor Romney by hundreds of millions of dollars. That's just their principal committees. Then you put on top of that the Koch brothers or the Adelson money. They're going to have hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars more than the president's going to have on commercials that are on our networks. So we have to overcome a money disadvantage. Six years ago, we had laws that prevented corporations from pouring money into our state. But then this activist Supreme Court, by a 5-4 decision with the so-called conservative justices, reversed all that. And now the money is flowing in. We're going to be outspent. We're going to hear statements that are going to shock us, but will have an impact on those undecided voters. Our equalization, how we win this election, is in this room. We, if you looked at their convention and our convention, you notice an energy difference. I wish you would please show up at some of our campaign offices and see the number of people. I was down today in Waldorf, and there was. 20, 30 people making phone calls on a beautiful Saturday afternoon. We are doing phone banking. We're making hundreds of thousands of calls in Maryland because we're not taking anything for granted. We need your energy between now and Election Day. There's an awful lot at stake. Please don't take Maryland for granted. Don't take Maryland for granted. Don't take a House seat for granted. Don't take a Senate seat for granted. And by, please don't take the most important election in our lifetime, the re-election of Barack Obama, for granted. We need your help. We need your help. This election is about the next generation. It is about my two granddaughters, and Myrna's two granddaughters, <laughs> and your children and grandchildren. This is what the election is about. And we need your help for the next, I think it's 45 days, till November 6th. Michelle Obama tells the story about how in North Carolina, five votes per, season, per, per precinct meant the difference of winning that seat. John was telling me about the few votes of, in his primary. We need votes here in Kent County. We need these votes. So, I was reminded as I walked in that you take pride in being the, uh, the smallest county by population in Maryland, but I think you can become the most important county in Maryland because you're leading our state and in informing people and getting votes for our future. Thank you all very much.